Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm coming at you with a story of what happened to me last week. On Monday, last Monday, I started having a little bit of lower abdominal pain. I thought nothing of it because it, it wasn't too bad. Um, I was just able to go throughout my day, just, I was fine. Then I went to bed that night and it was kind of uncomfortable, but at... 11.30 I was woken up by a severe pain in my back left side and also in my lower abdomen and uh, I wasn't sure what was wrong with me. I got up, um, I basically just like walked around my room, walked around the bathroom, um, just trying to get it to stop. I thought it was like gas pain or something, it was that kind of pain, but I wasn't sure what was wrong with my back. So... I tried to sit down a bit, that didn't really help. I tried laying down again, that was pretty uncomfortable. At about um, 1.30 in the morning on Tuesday, I started vomiting because the pain was so bad. Um, and then after that, I vomited every half hour until 5. It was really awful, like the worst pain I've ever felt. I tried to take um, medicine, but then I immediately vomited it up, so that was fun. I could not lay down without a heat pack, it just hurt so bad. At about 5.30, I found out that I could sit up and fall asleep, so I basically just fell asleep sitting up or, like, hunching over forward. Um, and then throughout that morning, I continued to feel better. I slept until 7.00. And I felt better mostly, but my mom still called the doctor and I ended up getting an appointment that morning at 10.30. So we went there, I got um, a urine test done and they were like, yeah, you probably have a kidney stone. And the doctor was like, there's probably nothing you can do about it, so you have to just kind of let it take its course and um, just drink lots and lots of fluids. So I started out drinking like cups and cups and cups of water and then we went home I was feeling okay so I just hung out like I normally would that night I went to sleep in my bed I was sort of uncomfortable but I thought I was gonna probably be okay uh, I woke up at 5 a.m. that morning and I was just in so much pain again like I was the previous night I could not lay down whatsoever. It just hurt so bad. Um, so I got up and walked around. I actually went downstairs to see if I could see the sunrise because I knew that's one of the things on my bucket list and <laughs> you know me trying to get all the things done. But I just basically walked around the whole morning until I started vomiting again at like 6.30 I think and then vomited like four times. We actually decided that we were going to go to the ER because they're basically there's no way to get better if you can't drink fluids so we went there and we went into the ER and thankfully I was the only person there waiting there wasn't a very long wait maybe like 10 minutes and they got me in um, I sat up in the bed in the room and the nurse came in she gave me an IV in my right arm um, and she drew blood from that, but she couldn't finish off the IV, so she had to do an IV in my left arm. And she just left that in, but she didn't put anything connected to it yet, because she had the doctor come in, and he had actually never seen, um, somebody my age have a kidney stone, so he wasn't completely sure. He didn't think, uh, my doctor was right. So, he was kind of skeptical to give me like medicine even though I was in still a ton of pain there I had to sit up I couldn't even lay down on the bed even though it was like pretty upright um and he w was just like let's wait for the results to come back in and everything so then finally uh, the nurse was able to give me my pain meds through the IV and she gave me some uh, some fluids through it too and I started feeling better within like 15 minutes of getting the um, pain med IV um, and they had 
an ultrasound lady come in and she gave me an ultrasound to like look at my kidneys through my back and um, the radiologist he said that there was evidence of there once being a kidney stone they weren't sure if I had passed it already or if it was ground up or something so um, after that we basically just um, sat and like talked to the doctor and he was saying that we we're gonna get um, a prescription for my nausea and then I'll be able to take like Motrin and Tylenol to help the pain because he said after you pass a kidney stone there can still be like residual pain after for like several days so I understood that um, then we were able to leave after only being there for three hours which is really quick and I felt really good um, because of the pain meds of course so we got the prescription and we went home and I felt okay for the next several hours then when the um, pain meds started wearing off from the IV uh, I had to take some Motrin and I didn't actually get um, na nausea at all so that was really good so for the next two days I had to take um, pain meds straight because I it just hurt too bad without them and then for the next three nights I had to sleep in a recliner just being mostly upright um, and those three nights I did have pain meds but a couple days ago I stopped taking pain meds at all I didn't actually ever end up having to use the nausea medication I just wanted you guys to know why I have been gone from the internet so yeah thank you guys if you're still watching thanks for watching through this whole thing you guys are awesome and thank you for being so supporting and I guess I will see you guys next time uh, go follow all my social medias and I'll see you later bye